Hi, I'm Mel Vincent. I'm an avian behaviourist who works in Melbourne, Australia. One of the problems I commonly see with birds is exposure to smoke or secondhand smoke from cigarettes. I find, and quite frustratingly, a lot of owners are completely unaware of what they are doing to their birds when they smoke cigarettes. Particularly if you actually raise it with them, they'll come up with the excuse of I'm not smoking next to them, I'm smoking in a different room, or there's a window open next to them or a door open next to them, and that's one of the topics that I would really like to get across and talk to you about. The thing with smoking with birds is these guys have a very efficient respiratory system, significantly more efficient than what we have. These guys have a unilateral flow of air through their lungs and air sacs. What that actually means, air flows one way, so it's very rich with oxygen as it goes in and they're not mixing it with carbon dioxide on the way out. Why that's significant is while smoke will affect us in these guys, they're going to absorb it at probably four times the rate. What I'm tending to find is people are coming to me saying their birds have behavioural problems when it's actually a smoking issue. I see birds with a range of things from seizure-like symptoms, weird abnormal pecking at wings, feather plucking, uh, just plain irritable or aggressive. In fact, the bird on my right hand actually lived with a woman for quite a while. She said it was beautiful, it was hand raised, it was sweet, it was cuddly, she loved it, it was cuddling into her neck. Then it switched, it became really aggressive, really bitey, and when we met her, she was actually trying to hold the bird with welding gloves because she just couldn't get near it, it was really injuring her. The house that she was living in just reeked of smoke. It was like a wall when I went in there, so I knew immediately that the bird was in trouble no matter what she was doing. You can actually smell it in the feathers. You can actually stick your nose and sniff a bird. And if it smells of smoke, you know the bird is having to deal with those toxins. We commonly can pick this up with a blood test. Um, birds will appear anemic by their bloods. Kidney problems, liver problems, anything that the body will suggest that it's not dealing with toxins well is an indication that it's been exposed to smoke. Very difficult for vets because frequently before they actually come to the vet clinic they'll have had a shower so the humans don't smell it's the birds that smell and unless vets are in there routinely sniffing birds they're not necessarily noticing the smoke. Um, this bird here obviously we got him out of the environment and he's become a beautiful cuddly bird that you can tell I can just trust him completely. He was a different bird. I've never seen a bird almost sigh with relief when we got it into the travel cage to get him out of there. And this is one of those cases where he did. Fortunately, he was still very, very young, so no permanent massive damage has been done. That said, I have a lorikeet in my care. He came to me on the verge of actually being killed. He needed to be euthanized. They couldn't get anywhere with his treatment. He'd come back as anemic, he had various issues such as liver and kidney problems, they'd addressed that medically, but they hadn't been able to solve why he was neurotically biting at his wing. This bird had come in neurotically biting at its wing. The vet hadn't been able to solve why, and he was querying whether it was some sort of weird like OCD obsession and a behavioral problem, and he wanted me to train the bird out of it. I met the bird and to me it wasn't a neurotic training issue. To me there was an agitation level to it, almost like a seizure. So I actually went out to this owner's house and I have never smelled this much smoke. It was like a wall. I have asthma and I just couldn't breathe when I went in there. I found his cage next to it. There were two ashtrays just sitting overflowing with cigarettes and I'm like, this isn't good. <laughs> and I did sit down the owner and had a chat. I still haven't found a polite way to say you're killing your bird, you smell. Um, I'm working on that, <laughs> so I'm not sure that there is a polite way. But basically he told me that the bird is usually in the laundry with the door open, so fresh air all around him and he's not smoking next to the bird, it's just that the ashtrays are in the room. And he really genuinely believed he wasn't harming his bird. The bird had lost the ability to fly, bloods were awful, feather condition was awful, really, really brittle feathers. 15 year old bird had done very well to get to this stage but it had reached that point where the bird just wasn't going to cope anymore. We got him out of that environment and he has recovered to a certain extent. Feather condition is now brilliant with a changed diet, changed air quality, changed bathing routine but he's never going to fly again. Unfortunately his respiratory system is too badly damaged. It's worth remembering that these guys can get cancer. They're just like us in the way that their respiratory system does support their whole body's health, so it will affect him for the rest of his life. His owner does love him, in fairness, and comes to visit him regularly. So, it's not all bad news. 
But the upkeep on a bird like that too, you've got to remember you've got to keep redoing blood tests, making sure that the cancer isn't turning up. Um, the seizures have completely gone, which is a really good news. He doesn't need to be euthanised. He's now got friends. He's happy and natural and foraging. He's the rare case. Most of these owners I'm finding on repeat consults, I'll go back into the house and it still smells like smoke. There's no easy way to tell someone to quit cigarettes and usually they won't listen to you, but I honestly, I just wish they'd also realise that the residue on their hands can really impact these birds. Residue in the clothes, residue in the hair. These guys lick, bite, chew at you all the time. They're absorbing whatever is on you. So yeah, if I can encourage anyone out there not to smoke, it would be worth it because it's not just next to your bird, it's your whole house that stinks.